Chap 151. Peak of the mortal world, Tu Ling'er's arrival didn't attract too much attention from Han Ju. He continued cultivating and strove to reach the ninth level of the Mahayana realm as soon as possible, time passed. While the world changed outside, to the ascetics, time seemed to stop flowing, Xing Hongxian, Chang Yuer, and Fairy Shi Xian had already returned. However, when they heard that Han Ju was in seclusion, they didn't disturb him. Point seven years passed quickly. Han Ju finally broke through to the ninth level of the Mahayana realm, the peak of the mortal world. After breaking through, the spirit energy in Han Ju's body soared, he didn't stop. Instead, he continued to cultivate and raised his spirit energy to a state where it could no longer increase. Point three years later, Han Ju asked Dao Comprehension Sword to bring Tu Ling'er up the mountain. He wanted her to cultivate under the Fusong tree first. He would talk about the Master Disciple matter in the future, after Tu Ling'er entered the cultivate diligently become a mortal mountain, she discovered that the spirit chi inside was even richer than what she had felt at the foot of the mountain. Is there a powerful and invisible barrier around this mountain? Tu Ling'er was secretly shocked and became even more curious about Han Ju, she came to the Fusong tree. Yang Tiandong, Sun Chang'an, Murong Chi, the chaotic heavenly dog, the black hell chicken, the two little golden crows, and the three-headed WYRM king all looked at her. Tu Ling'er's gaze landed on the Fusong tree. This is, Tu Ling'er was in a daze. When she saw the Fusong tree, she became inexplicably distracted, Dao Comprehension Sword said, Cultivate here first. Don't make too much noise. Tu Ling'er came back to her senses and hurriedly nodded, the others did not talk to her and continued cultivating although Tu Ling'er had many doubts, she still suppressed them in her mind and obediently began to meditate and cultivate, for some reason, she felt that these people were not simple, she couldn't help but think of the geniuses in the heavenly immortal manner, half a year later. Han Ju finally raised his cultivation level to the perfected ninth level of the Mahayana realm, your cultivation has reached the peak of the mortal world. You have the following choices, 1. Immediately ascend and become an immortal. You can obtain a mystical power inheritance and a numinous treasure. 2. Don't ascend for the time being. Continue to stay in the mortal world and you can obtain a supreme treasure. Han Ju chose the second option without hesitation, you chose not to ascend for the time being and obtained a supreme treasure. Congratulations on obtaining the Grand Unity Supreme Treasure, 9-5 Supreme Providence Robe, 9-5 Supreme Providence Robe, Defensive Grand Unity Supreme Treasure. It's a supreme treasure refined from the providence of an emperor. Its defense is extremely strong. After wearing it, you will obtain the aura of an emperor. Defensive Grand Unity Supreme Treasure, Defensive, Han Ju was pleasantly surprised. This was too good, system, awesome job as usual. Han Ju took out the 9-5 Supreme Providence robe. It was a mighty and domineering dragon pattern, golden robe. Golden light shone in the cave abode. Dao Comprehension Sword opened her eyes and looked surprised, this was too high profile, Han Ju frowned, however, on second thought, he hid in the cave abode every day. He wasn't afraid of being high profile. He immediately began to make the 9 5 Supreme Providence robe recognize him as its master. Point two days later, the Grand Unity Supreme Treasure recognized him as its master. It was indeed a treasure, Han Ju wore the 9 5 Supreme Providence robe, feeling much safer. He originally wanted to wear the nice 5 robe on top of the Golden Cicada's Mystic Divine robe, but it was extremely uncomfortable so he could only take it off, master, can you give me this robe? Dao Comprehension Sword pointed at the golden cicada's mystic divine robe on the table and asked with great desire, Han Ju said, you're not going outside. You don't need to wear the numinous treasure robe. But master, you're not going out either. If I die, you won't be able to escape death. So, I have to wear it. Dao Comprehension Sword curled her lips, Feeling wronged, Han Ju wanted to give the Golden Cicada's Mystic Divine Robe to Xing Hongxian, but on second thought, the Golden Cicada's Mystic Divine Robe was also high profile. If Xing Hongxian wore it, it might attract even more trouble, fine, I'll give it to you. After you wear it, go outside. I want to break through. 
I'm afraid the commotion will kill you. Han Ju waved his hand, Dao Comprehension's sword looked over in surprise and hurriedly thanked him before wearing the golden cicada's mystic divine robe, Han Ju was speechless, this girl actually undressed in front of him, although he had already seen it before, she was still too unashamed, Han Ju frowned and said, you can't take off your clothes in front of others in the future. Dao Comprehension Sword happily sized up the Golden Cicada's mystic divine robe and replied, There are differences between men and women. I understand that. I will only change in front of Master. With that, she quickly left to boast to Yang Tiandong, Sun Chang'an, and the others, Han Ju shook his head and laughed. Then, he perked up and prepared to break through. He raised his hand and sucked the heaven evading stone into his palm. He placed the stone by his leg and muttered, It's all up to you now. If Han Ju could surpass the cultivation limit in the mortal world and stay here, that would be perfect. Han Ju began to cultivate the six paths of reincarnation technique. After comprehending the mortal world cultivation chapter, he would be able to comprehend a cultivation method of a higher realm, under the Fusong tree. The moment Dao Comprehension Sword appeared, the atmosphere under the tree became lively, Fang Liang, who was meditating, opened his eyes and glanced at Tu Ling'er. He asked, Are you still returning to the heavenly immortal manor in the future? Tu Ling'er didn't even open her eyes as she replied, Why should I go back? This place is quite good. It's isolated from the world and I can cultivate in peace. I don't want to go back and suffer. Fang Liang was speechless. The heavenly immortal manor raised such an ingrate, it was still fine for him. After all, he wasn't a disciple of the heavenly immortal manor. In any case, he had also carried out missions for the manor, however, Tu Ling'er was a genius specially nurtured by the heavenly immortal manor. Since she was young, she only needed to cultivate and not go out. In other words, she had yet to contribute to the manor, when your cultivation improves in the future, you won't betray my grandmaster, right? Feng Liang asked warily, the others also looked at her. Tu Ling'er finally opened her eyes and retorted angrily, what do you mean by betray? Although I've left the heavenly immortal manor, I'm not their enemy. What kind of betrayal is that? Besides, isn't this place the immortal mountain of cultivation? Isn't cultivating diligently the greatest consolation to master? Now, even if the elders of the heavenly immortal manor personally came to force her to return, she would not, the spirit chi under the fusong tree was too dense, too linger couldn't bear to leave a boom, thunder rumbled in the sky. Everyone turned their heads and saw rolling dark clouds. There was no demonic aura or demonic chi. It seemed like a storm was coming. Too linger frowned and muttered, that fellow finally succeeded. Fang Liang asked curiously, who succeeded? Ji Xianchen, the number one prodigy of the heavenly immortal manor. You haven't seen this person before, but his talent is definitely the number one in the world. A complicated expression appeared in Tu Ling'er's eyes, being of the same generation as Ji Xianchen was the sorrow of these geniuses, Fang Liang's eyes were filled with fighting spirit, had also heard of Ji Xianchen. One day, he would prove to the world who was the number one prodigy in the world, he wanted to win honor for his grandmaster. Morong Chi, Sun Chang'an, and the others had also heard of Ji Xianchen. When they heard the conversation between Fang Liang and Tu Ling'er, they couldn't help but be even more curious about him, there's no need to worry about the heavenly immortal manner. This tribulation will definitely be resolved. Tu Ling'er closed her eyes and smiled, Fang Liang asked in surprise, just because of Ji Xianchen? He alone can resolve the heavenly immortal manner's calamity? Yes, I'm afraid no mortal in this world is his match. He's no match for my grandmaster. Isn't your grandmaster a land deity? He's no mortal. Chap 152 Reincarnation loose immortal, essence soul leaves the body, inside the Khanate cave abode, after completing the mortal realm cultivation chapter of the six paths of reincarnation technique, Han Ju finally comprehended a higher level cultivation technique, there were six realms above his current cultivation level, loose immortal, earth immortal, heaven immortal, true immortal, mystic immortal, golden immortal. Excited, Han Ju started to break through to the loose immortal realm, Daoist Jian was. 
also a loose immortal. When he reached the loose immortal realm, how could he not instantly kill the other party? There was also the vermilion bird. It was only an earth immortal. Hanju suddenly felt that these two enemies were not that strong. At least, he could see the hope of surpassing them. Hanju stopped thinking and focused on breaking through. With his potential, breaking through wouldn't take too long. And the dark cave abode, patriarch blood fiend, white-haired fiend lady, and fiendish arhat gathered again. Fiendish Arhat clenched his fists and cursed. When will Daoist Juyin be willing to come down? The true devils of the devil race have not attacked the heavenly immortal manor for ten years. It's said that Ji Xianchen learned the strongest sacred technique in the heavenly immortal manor. No one has managed to learn it for ten thousand years, he's already invincible. What awaits us is a dead end. Patriarch Blood Fiend's expression darkened. White haired fiend lady gritted her teeth and said, I don't care anymore. I want to ascend. Fiendish Arhat nodded. He didn't want to wait any longer. But if we ascend now, won't we be attacked by the righteous path? Patriarch Blood Fiend hesitated, Fiendish Arhat cursed. Patriarch Blood Fiend, are you being silly? How can they have the time to care about us when true devils are attacking the heavenly immortal manor? It's fine if you don't ascend. Be careful not to regret it in the future. With that said, he and the white-haired fiend lady stood up and left, patriarch blood fiend's expression changed, after fiendish arhat and white-haired fiend lady's auras faded away, patriarch blood fiend took out a crystal ball and asked softly, senior, how much longer? He didn't receive a reply and continued to wait, after a long time. A weak voice came from the crystal ball, don't be anxious, cough cough. Soon. His heart skipped a beat as he asked, are you injured? No, something went wrong with my cultivation. I'm waiting for a senior from the heavenly court. Don't worry. As long as you're obedient, I'll take care of you after you ascend. I won't let you wander around. Patriarch Blood Fiend suppressed his surprise and said, the devil race sent true devils to attack, but they can't defeat the heavenly immortal manor. I'm afraid, the heavenly immortal manor is useless, continue to urge the devil race to send more true devils. Remember, don't participate. You only need to persuade them. If you're also involved, I won't be able to protect you. I understand, I understand, mm, then, senior, can you give me a time? I'm afraid I can't hold on, a hundred years at most, okay? A hundred years, I'll try my best to be faster, humph. Thank you, senior. Two years later, the Khanate cave abode shook violently, causing the entire cultivate diligently become a mortal mountain to shake, under the Fusong tree, Fang Liang, Sun Chang'an, and the others turned their heads to lo okay dot li Qingzi. Fairy Shishen, Xing Hongxian, and Changyuer, who were cultivating, were also alarmed and walked out of their cave abodes. They went to the top of the mountain and gathered with the others, what's happening? It's Master's cave abode. Master is breaking through? This has never happened before. This is the first time, right? What realm is Grandmaster at now? If he breaks through, he has to undergo tribulation. Why is he always in the cave abode? Everyone discussed. Li Qingzi said, Elder Han knows how to transcend the tribulation. Previously, I even led him to a good location to transcend the tribulation. This time, he must have comprehended some mystical power. Xing Hongxian smiled proudly. My husband is so powerful. Husband, Tu Ling'er couldn't help but look at her as she thought, this is master's wife, Dao Comprehension Sword and Changyuer glanced at Xing Hongxian meaningfully. At the same time, inside the Khanate cave abode. Han Ju succeeded in breaking through. The six path spirit energy in his body transformed into dermic powers and continued to grow. Congratulations on becoming a reincarnation loose immortal. You have the following choices 1. Immediately ascend and enjoy the baptism of the heavenly Dao. You can obtain a supreme treasure and a heavenly Tao spirit stone. 2. Don't ascend for the time being and stay in the mortal world. You can obtain a supreme treasure. Three lines of words appeared in front of Han Ju. He directly chose the second option, 
since there was no heavenly tribulation and he was not expelled by the heavenly Tao, why did he have to ascend, unless the heavenly court really wanted to destroy the world, he would stay here and cultivate on this cultivate diligently become a mortal mountain, Han Ju set a goal for himself, he would only ascend when he was no longer afraid of the vermilion bird. You chose not to ascend for the time being and obtained a supreme treasure. Congratulations on obtaining the Grand Unity Supreme Treasure Grand Imperial Phoenix Wings Crown, Sue, Grand Imperial Phoenix Wings Crown, Defensive Grand Unity Supreme Treasure. A crown refined from the aura of a Grand Emperor and the wings of a Phoenix. Its defense is extremely strong. Defensive Supreme Treasure, nice, Han Ju was in a good mood da, he continued to consolidate his cultivation. The dermic powers in his body circulated along with the six paths of reincarnation technique and rapidly increased, somehow, Han Ju felt much less constrained, T was as if the world could no longer stop him, he could jump out of the mortal world with one leap, this feeling was too wonderful, after consolidating his cultivation with his body, Han Ju's essence soul left his body. He quickly jumped out of the cave abode and arrived on the cultivate diligently become a mortal mountain. He looked down and saw shadows above his disciples, there was a ball of qi above Fang Liang's head. There was a ginseng above Sun Chang'an's head. A divine figure floated above Morong Qi's head, he wore armor and looked mighty and domineering. A black phoenix floated above the head of the black hell chicken. It was completely different from its body. It could even be said to be worlds apart, Han Jules' gaze landed on Tu Lingler, Grand Magus, Tu Linger was pretty and could be considered a beauty, but the Grand Magus looked extremely sinister. It had a human body and a beast head, looking very ferocious. So terrifying, when Han Ju stared at the soul of the Grand Magus above Tu Linger, it suddenly looked up at him with its snake-like eyes, their eyes met, and Han Ju felt very uncomfortable, no, this fellow is a little dangerous, he had descended away, the soul of the Grand Magus opened its mouth to Han Ju. There was no sound, but Han Ju could sense what it was saying, save me, Han Ju was puzzled. Why did it need to be saved, he didn't think too much and grasped the feeling of breaking through, Han Ju continued to rise into the sky. The mountains and rivers shrank rapidly in his eyes, and in the blink of an eye, he arrived at the top of the sky. Above him was the endless sea of stars, this time, Han Ju felt that he could easily skip the resplendent galaxy and fly to the upper world. But he didn't, he was afraid that the vermilion bird was waiting for him, therefore, Han Ju's essence soul rushed towards the ground. His eyes focused, and he directly jumped out of the mortal world and came to the netherworld, he felt the familiar darkness and the familiar chi of reincarnation, fortunately, there was no yellow spring nearby and no bridge of forgetfulness, Han Ju spread his divine sense. There were no living beings in a radius of 10,000 miles. His essence soul began to enjoy the baptism of the chi of reincarnation. During this process, the strength of his essence soul rapidly increased. You're here again. A hoarse voice sounded, Han Ju was shocked. Wasn't this the voice that the heavenly puppet had encountered? He subconsciously wanted to run. Wait, I won't harm you. Han Ju calmed down after hearing this, thinking about it carefully. He seemed to have overreacted earlier. The other party indeed had no intention of killing him, there's actually such a genius like you. You surpassed all living beings in the mortal world before reaching 800 years of age. Yet, you didn't transcend the tribulation and become a loose immortal. You can freely come and go between the two worlds. Perhaps, you are the person I've been waiting for. Chap 153 Mengpa, a million years of lifespan Hanju listened to the other party and pondered, what do you mean, was she trying to recruit him? As her disciple, or maybe possess him, possession, Hanju panicked, he was so handsome and had such high potential. Even an immortal would probably be envious, this area has already been isolated by my dermic powers. No one can detect our presence. We can talk without worries. The hoarse voice sounded again. Han Ju asked cautiously, May I know your identity? The hoarse voice replied, I'm from the Bridge of Forgetfulness. The Bridge of Forgetfulness, wasn't that a bridge, the manifestation of the Bridge of Forgetfulness? Wait, Mengpi Han Ju was shocked. 
What was Mengpa trying to do, did she want to recruit him as an assistant, you know the background of your newest disciple, don't you? Hanju asked curiously, what background does she have? A genius of the heavenly immortal manner? Could it be that the heavenly immortal manner has your support? As a loose immortal, he could already see through the Grand Magus origin. If news of this were to spread, it would definitely attract fear, you really don't know? Your disciples are all extraordinary. The hoarse voice teased, Han Ju remained silent, the hoarse voice continued, I'll just say it directly. Tu Ling'er is the reincarnated great Magus of our Magus race. The reason why she approached you is definitely that you can make her stronger. Every great Magus has a special ability that they are born with. Tu Ling'er's special ability is to find the opportunity that's most beneficial to her through the premonition of a dream. This is also the reason why she survived the Magus Demon Calamity. Previously, you came to the Netherworld. I remember your aura. Therefore, when Tu Ling'er found you, I specially checked you. You don't have negative karma or a powerful background, but you've come to this point. You might become the hope of the Magus race. The hope of the Magus race, Mengpa was from the Magus race, Han Ju thought quickly. As long as you lead Tu Ling'er to become an immortal emperor, you will be a benefactor of the Magus race. Han Ju asked curiously, what realm is an immortal emperor? Golden immortal? Above golden immortal is immortal emperor. To be honest, the heavenly court might want to clean up the mortal world I'm in. Can you help me? No, the heavenly court is in charge of the netherworld. I have no right to interfere. Then what can I get by helping the Magus race? If you die, I can take you in. Han Ju was speechless. He felt like he had been fooled, he then asked, then, can you help me carve out a place in the netherworld where I can stay and not be disturbed? No problem. Han Ju heaved a sigh of relief. That was more like it, so, you agreed, the hoarse voice asked Han Ju replied, I like Tu Ling'er, too. Besides, she has already acknowledged me as her master. The other party had already revealed his cards. If Han Ju refused, he might not be able to leave, Mengpa has a favorable impression of you. Current favorability, three stars, Han Ju immediately used his essence soul as the center and started the simulation trial, he found Mengpa and started fighting. A second later, he was defeated instantly, Han Ju wasn't surprised. He just wanted to copy the data and use Mengpa as a template in the future, and Mengpo's eyes, Hanju only closed his eyes for a second, as if he was thinking about something Hanju cupped his fists and said, I still have to continue breaking through. I won't talk to you anymore. Hmm, Mengpo's voice sounded, Hanju stopped thinking and focused on absorbing the chi of reincarnation to strengthen his essence soul, the cultivate diligently become a mortal mountain regained its calm. Xing Hongxian, Li Qingzi, and the others also left and continued cultivating, the disciples didn't discuss for long point three years later. Inside the Khanate cave abode, Han Ju's essence soul returned to his body, which had transformed drastically. With the numinous treasures and supreme treasures shining brightly on him, he resembled an immortal god, he had completely become a reincarnation loose immortal, his strength was more than a hundred times stronger than before, Han Ju opened his attributes list. Name, Hanju, Lifespan, 779-1294000, Race, Immortal, Cultivation, Early Stage of the Reincarnation Loose Immortal Realm, Technique, Six Paths of Reincarnation, Can Be Inherited, Magic, Unparalleled Finger Divine Sword, 7. Illusionary Steps, 3 Pure Shadow Sword, Unparalleled, 9 Dragon's Devil Expelling Seal, Major Kiliocosm Thunderstorm, Wind God Technique, Still Phase Technique, Mystical Power, Six Path Soul Absorption, Heavenly Punishment Ghost Deity Sword, Imitate Heaven and Earth, Somersault Cloud, 10,000 Sword Sect, Can Be Inherited, Tathagata Incantation, Six Paths Ultimate Seal, Firmament Sword Chi, Heaven Earth Mystic Yellow World Piercing Sword Finger, Universe in the Sleeves, Door of Reincarnation, Invocation Technique, Equipment, Little Universe Belt, Chilin Sword, Demon Binding Rope, Burning Fiend Bell, 6th Grade Numinous Treasure, Frost Lord's Glazed Crown, 4th Grade Numinous Treasure, Book of Misfortune, Grand Unity Supreme Treasure, 
Earth Emperor's Soul Ward, Third Grade Numinous Treasure, Heart Protecting Immortal Chain, Third Grade Numinous Treasure, Calm Meditation Mat, Grand Unity Sixth Grade Numinous Treasure, Heavenly Spirit Bracelet, Supreme Grade. Numinous Treasure, Purple Gold Soft Armor, Grand Unity Eighth Grade Numinous Treasure, Nine Layered Heaven Trampling Boots, Grand Unity Sixth Grade Numinous Treasure, Giant Spiritual Wrist Guard, Grand Unity Fifth Grade Numinous Treasure, Imperial Dragon Destiny Carriage, Grand Unity Second Grade Numinous Treasure, 9-5 Supreme Providence Robe, Grand Unity Supreme Treasure, Self-Created Mystical Power, 3 Pure World Cleansing, Grand Unity, Sword Intent, Reincarnation Sword Intent, Grand Unity, Birth Dharma Treasure, Primordial Judgment Sword, Cultivation Potential, Spiritual Physique of the Six Paths. It contains top-notch wind, fire, water, earth, wood, and thunder cultivation potentials. Increases providence to a certain extent. Connate providence is as follows, unparalleled, immortal beauty, top-notch charm, destined sword fanatic, top-notch sword Dao aptitude, top-notch sword Dao learning ability, unparalleled movement technique, top-notch movement technique aptitude, descendant of the immortal emperor, after the game begins, you will receive an unparalleled cultivation technique, 0.29 million years of lifespan. Who else could compare to him? Hanju became proud, he loved seeing his lifespan increase, Hanju suppressed his excitement and checked Meng Po's cultivation. Meng Pe, early stage of the Grand Unity True Immortal Realm, ghost deity of the netherworld, created by the Magus race. She is hidden in the netherworld and holds the responsibility of reincarnation. Her wish is to strengthen the Magus race. Current favorability, 3 stars, Grand Unity True Immortal, no wonder he couldn't win, Hanju was secretly glad that he didn't reject Mengpa. Otherwise, he would have died in the netherworld, this was also good. In the future, after the people he cared about passed away, he could greet Mengpa and tell her not to feed them her soup, but then again, the devils and the magi were hiding in the netherworld, could the netherworld be a refuge for defeated races, Hanju took out the Grand Imperial Phoenix Wing's crown and started to make it recognize him as its owner. Several hours later, he put on the Grand Imperial Phoenix Wing's crown and decided to give it to Xing Hongxian, Hanju then took out the Book of Misfortune and started to curse Vermilion Bird.As for Daoist Juyin, he was no longer a threat, Hanju decided to wait for him to come personally, while cursing, he checked his emails, from them, he could see that the cultivation world seemed to be very peaceful, only Ji Xianchen had been attacked by true devils dozens of times. Other than that, there was no news of the true devils, could it be that Ji Xianchen had wiped out the true devils, goodness, this fellow was a little fierce. He didn't have an illustrious background from his previous life, but he had fought his way out from the crowd of people with great providence and became the number one prodigy in the world. Hanju checked Ji Xianchen's profile and discovered that his cultivation level had already reached the fourth level of the Mahayana realm, this breakthrough speed was very fast. Second only to Hanju himself. Chap 154. Emperor Realm, Deity Realm, Zenith Heaven Golden Immortal Hanju sent a voice transmission to Dao Comprehension Sword, indicating that she could enter, Dao Comprehension Sword immediately stood up happily and rushed towards the Khanate Cave Abode. When the others saw this, they understood that Han Ju's seclusion had ended, Morong Chi clicked his tongue in wonder. How strong is Grandmaster now? This is the first time he's been in seclusion for so long. Although Han Ju had been cultivating diligently all along, he could visit him at any time, unlike this time, where he was not to be disturbed for several years. Even Dao Comprehension Sword was chased out. I'm not sure. He's probably above the fifth level of the Mahayana realm. Fang Liang shook his head, fifth level of the Mahayana realm. The three-headed WYRM king secretly felt disdain, your grandmaster has probably reached the ninth level of the Mahayana realm. The three-headed WYRM king was very curious. Han Zhu was clearly an ascetic. His cultivation level had reached the peak of the mortal world, so why didn't he ascend? Does he want to experience invincibility? But Han Ju didn't go out either. Tu Ling'er was also very curious about Han Ju's cultivation level. On the other side, inside the Khanate cave abode, Dao Comprehension Sword sat on his mat and looked at him curiously. 
Master, did you break through your realm or cultivate a mystical power? Hanju closed his eyes to cultivate and replied, Realm. He was pleasantly surprised to discover that the Fusong tree was not only emitting heaven and earth spirit qi, but also an even higher level spirit qi. This spirit qi was much stronger than ordinary spirit qi. Could this be the immortal qi from the immortal world, it was very likely, the Fusong tree could attract the golden crows of the upper world to the mortal world, which meant that it had spirit qi that could help the living beings of the upper world cultivate, Hanju was completely relieved. Even if he had stepped into the reincarnation loose immortal realm, he could still cultivate in the mortal world, was puzzled, was the reincarnation loose immortal realm equivalent to the loose immortal realm, the six realms of reincarnation were divided into loose immortal, earth immortal, heaven immortal, true immortal, mystic immortal, and golden immortal. Was reincarnation earth immortal equivalent to a grand unity earth immortal, he had to ask that good brother, cultivate well. I have to continue comprehending a mystical power. Hanju interrupted Dao Comprehension Sword and began to comprehend the Heaven Earth Mystic Yellow World Piercing Sword Finger, Dao Comprehension Sword suppressed her excitement and began cultivating, several days later. Hanju entered the Sword Dao River. This time, he didn't cause any phenomenon because he had already surpassed all living beings. The Heavenly Dao couldn't control him anymore. He quickly arrived in front of Zhang Guxing, Zhang Guxing smiled and said, you're here again. You. Loose immortal realm. You ascend it? He was still calm in the beginning, but his tone suddenly increased. Han Ju smiled and asked, Senior, I want to ask you something. Above the loose immortal realm, is it Earth immortal or Grand Unity Earth immortal? Zhang Guxing calmed down and replied, It's naturally the Grand Unity Earth immortal. Above that are the Grand Unity Heaven immortal the Grand Unity True Immortal, the Grand Unity Mystic Immortal, and the Grand Unity Golden Immortal, Grand Unity is a Tao fruit. It was created by the Tao sect. When the Tao sect was at its peak, it opened up the cultivation system. The Grand Unity Tao fruit entered deep into the rules of the Heavenly Tao. Han Ju suddenly understood. So that was the case, he had assumed that the Grand Unity realm was above the six realms of reincarnation. That would be too terrifying, but this made sense, he was a sword immortal of reincarnation and did not follow the conventional system, Hanju continued to ask, above Grand Unity is Zenith Heaven? In the mythological novels, they all had such systems. In the Taoist texts, it was also mentioned that Grand Unity and Zenith Heaven were on an equal level, but they were different systems, Zhang Guxing replied, in the Savage Era, above Grand Unity was indeed Zenith Heaven. However, over the long years, countless experts appeared. They used their own cultivation to increase the power of a certain realm. They passed down such insights for generations and changed the balance of cultivation realms. Now, there are the Emperor Realm and Deity Realm between Grand Unity and Zenith Heaven. An immortal emperor can escape the six paths and travel freely through the myriad worlds without restrictions by the rules of the Heavenly Tao. They no longer have lifespan restrictions. Immortal emperors are the top existences in the upper world. Even if an immortal emperor dies, as long as a trace of his soul remains, he can make a comeback from the cycle of reincarnation and not have his Tao heart erased. Speaking of the immortal emperor, Zhang Guxing's tone was filled with envy. Han Ju couldn't help but think of Morong Qi'd and his previous life, he had been surrounded and killed by a group of immortal emperors. Could it be that he had reached an even higher realm, Hanju asked, what about the deity realm? What is it? Zhang Guxing replied, the deity realm is formed by the incense offerings of the mortal world and enjoys great providence that is inextinguishable. Even if the soul is dispersed, it can still be revived. They're even harder to deal with than immortal emperors. In terms of the strength of their dermic powers, they're also stronger than those at the emperor realm. Often, mighty figures who have reached the deity realm create their own world, as, for the Zenith Heaven Golden Immortal, that's a supreme existence. Legend has it that the Zenith Heaven Golden Immortal is above the 3000 laws. They can traverse the long river of history or cross time, space, and karma. 
Han Zhu was impressed. He set a small goal, Zenith Heaven Golden Immortal. Zhang Guxing changed the topic and asked curiously, you're not even a thousand years old and have already become a loose immortal. With your potential, if you transcend the tribulation of ascension, you might be able to directly reach the Grand Unity Earth Immortal Realm. You haven't ascended? Han Ju nodded and said, Didn't I say before that the Vermilion Bird is waiting for me in the upper world? I don't want to die, much less delete my account and start over. Delete your account and start over? I mean reincarnation. Oh. The two of them fell silent, after a while, Han Ju asked again, how will the heavenly court clean up the mortal world? Do they directly destroy the mortal world or slaughter all living beings? Zhang Guxing replied, slaughter all living beings. The formation of a mortal world takes countless years. The price to destroy it is too high. Typically, they will only send heavenly soldiers to kill all living beings and then bring those from other mortal worlds in to reproduce. To the heavenly Tao in the mortal world, all living beings are part of the heavenly Tao. When no living beings remain, the heavenly Tao will be destroyed. How strong are the heavenly soldiers sent by the heavenly court? Most of them are led by Grand Unity Earth Immortals. In some extreme situations, they will send Grand Unity Heaven Immortals. Han Ju felt the pressure, he asked some more questions, and Zhang Guxing told him everything he knew, Han Ju bid farewell and continued forward, after becoming a reincarnation loose immortal, he wanted to see how far he could go, Zhang Guxing looked at Han Ju's back and looked forward to it, how far can this kid go? A line of words appeared in front of Han Ju, Zhang Guxing's favorability towards you has increased. Current favorability, 3.5 stars, Han Ju smiled secretly, I knew it, strength was the best way to communicate, back in the cave abode, Han Ju's heaven earth mystic yellow world piercing sword finger had transformed. It was far stronger than before, after consolidating his comprehension, Han Ju immediately entered the simulation trial and fought with Mengpa, was instantly killed by Mengpa, Han Ju fought with Xian Qingjun again and killed her instantly, a tea was not exciting, Han Ju urgently wanted to meet a loose immortal and test his strength, oh no, my Dao heart is unstable. Shouldn't I stay away from danger? Han Ju was secretly vigilant and felt that his thoughts were very dangerous, the heavenly Dao is bewitching me again. Han Ju calmed down and didn't think or do anything after his heart calmed down, he stood up and left, after walking out of the Khanate cave abode, everyone under the Fusong tree stood up, Master. Grandmaster. Tu Ling'er opened her eyes and looked at Han Ju, this was the first time she saw him, what a handsome man, Tu Ling'er was stunned. Even the heavenly immortal manner did not have such a handsome man, Tu Ling'er has a favorable impression of you. Current favorability, for stars. Chap 155. Challenge from the number one in the world four stars of favorability already? Han Ju sighed secretly. He ignored his disciples and walked towards Xing Hongxuan's cave abode, arriving there, he was warmly welcomed by her, Han Ju wanted to talk to her first, but he didn't expect her to be so eager, he had to use his dermic powers to envelop the cave abode to prevent any commotion from spreading a month later, the two of them sat facing each other in clean clothes, Han Ju took out the Frost Lord's glazed crown and gave it to her. Xing Hongxian accepted it happily and stopped exchanging pleasantries. She took out the pills she coincidentally obtained and wanted to give them to him, but he rejected her, I don't need anything from the mortal world anymore. You should take care of yourself in the future. Han Ju smiled, although he had many female friends, he still liked Xing Hongxian the most, love was cheap, but true action was rare. To fall in love with someone, it could be because she was good looking, it could be because she said something that you agreed with, or it could be because she smiled at you when you were at your lowest, but only the true act of giving could prove a person's status in one's heart and the past. Whenever Xing Hongxian went out to train, she would give Han Ju treasures. When she returned. Although he didn't thank her, he always remembered it. Han Ju asked Xing Hongxian to take out the heavenly puppet. As he chatted with her, he helped her change the spirit energy of the heavenly puppet. A T was a heavenly puppet with the strength of the loose immortal realm. If Xing Hongxian went out again, it would be difficult for her to die, 
Xing Hongxian had a smile on her face the entire time. She realized that Han Ju had become closer and more talkative than before, she no longer wished to monopolize him. She only hoped that she could become the most important person in his heart Han Ju could sense that she was scheming, but that was not important, she was thinking of all ways to please him, so what could he complain about, through Xing Hongxian, Han Ju also learned about the cultivation world. The heavenly immortal manor was attacked by the devils and was almost destroyed. Fortunately, the other holy lands helped. In the end, Ji Xianchen killed all the true devils alone and his name shook the world, the current Ji Xianchen was truly the number one in the world, Xing Hongxian snorted. What number one in the world? I think you, my husband, are the number one in the world. However, you keep a low profile like a true cultivator. Han Ju snapped. I'll only be satisfied when you become the number one in the world. All right, I'll work hard. I usually cultivate diligently and not waste time. Keep it up. Several days later, the heavenly puppet was updated to the loose immortal dermic powers. Han Ju let Xing Hongxian put it away in her storage ring, after that, he brought her out of the cave abode and called Fairy Shi Xian, Chang Yuer, Li Qingzi, and Su Qi to the Fusong tree, Han Ju deliberately let the chaotic heavenly dog, Feng Liang, and Morong Qi surround Su Qi and suppress his bad luck. He began to preach the Tao to everyone, after becoming a reincarnation loose immortal, Han Ju's understanding of the great Tao deepened, his words could allow everyone to gain a deep understanding. His voice could also temporarily increase everyone's comprehension. The reason was that Han Ju had integrated his Tao into his voice and let them comprehend it together, the lecture lasted for a year, Han Ju stopped talking and everyone regained their senses, Two Ling'er's favorability towards you has increased. Current favorability, 5 stars, not only Two Ling'er, but the other's favorability also increased, Han Ju stood up and smiled. That's enough. I should continue cultivating. He turned around and walked back to the Khanate cave abode. Dao Comprehension Sword hurriedly followed. Li Qingzi sighed. Elder Han is really becoming more and more powerful. I feel like he's already become an immortal. Fairy Shishian asked curiously, if he became an immortal, how can he stay in the mortal world? The others were also curious about Han Ju's realm.su Qi left first. He hurried back to his cave abode and continued comprehending the great Tao, after becoming a loose immortal, Han Ju didn't relax and continued cultivating diligently. As long as the Jade Pure Sacred Sect was safe, he did not care about the cultivation world's affairs. Point five years passed. Ji Xianchen came again. Where's Guan Yu? Come out and fight. This time, Ji Xianchen no longer sent a voice transmission to Han Ju. Instead, he shouted loudly, resounding through the entire Jade Pure Sacred Sect so that everyone could hear him clearly, under the Fusong tree. Tu Ling'er opened her eyes and looked surprised, why was Ji Xianchen here, Morong Qi asked curiously, who is Guan Yu? Yang Tiandong smiled and said, it's your grandmaster. He has other names, like Chao Chao and Zhao Yun. Inside the Khanate cave abode Han Ju frowned. This fellow was a little arrogant this time, it seemed that becoming the number one in the world had made him arrogant, Han Ju immediately started the simulation trial, instant kill, that's it. Han Ju shook his head and laughed. He felt that Ji Xianchen was too arrogant, immediately disappeared from the cave abode, several dozen li away, it was still that forest, Han Ju appeared in front of him. The current Ji Xianchen wore a golden robe, but it was still inferior to Han Ju's 9-5 Supreme Providence robe. Ji Xianchen glanced at him and was secretly jealous, dressed even flashier than me, Ji Xianchen said proudly, Guan Yu. I've already killed dozens of Mahayana realm devils. My strength is no longer the same as before. Do you dare to fight me? Han Ju said expressionlessly, didn't you say that you won't disturb me anymore? I just want to spar with you. There's no end to it. Why don't we fight to the death, Wa so arrogant? Hearing Han Ju's tone, Ji Xianchen was also furious. But on second thought, what if he couldn't defeat Han Ju, he hesitated, he gritted his teeth and said, this time, if I lose again, I'll ascend directly. I won't disturb you anymore. 
You're sure? Yes, we'll only fight, not have a battle of life or death. Han Ju suddenly took a step forward. The two were less than half a meter apart. Han Ju raised his hand and pressed on Ji Xianchen's shoulder. His dermic powers erupted and suppressed him. Boom Ji Xianchen couldn't take it anymore. His legs went soft and he knelt down on one knee, causing the forest to shake violently, his face turned pale, impossible, this spirit energy, Ji Xianchen wanted to break free, but he couldn't. The spirit energy in his body couldn't rush out. Han Ju's dermic powers formed shackles and imprisoned him after a long while. Ji Xianchen lowered his head and gritted his teeth. I've lost. Not only was he defeated, but he was also utterly defeated, Han Ju retracted his hand and said, cultivate well. With your talent, you will surpass me sooner or later. As for ascension, wait a little longer. The mortal world needs your protection. This fellow can't ascend now, the heavenly court is about to arrive Ji Jixianchen took a deep breath. He also had his dignity to uphold. I'll never come again. Ji Jixianchen stood up and left, Han Ju flashed back into the cave abode and continued cultivating, under the Fusong tree, Tu Ling'er and Feng Liang were still in shock, the others didn't know Ji Jixianchen, but they knew him, although they were dozens of kilometers away, they could see it clearly with their cultivation. Ji Xianchen was pressed to the ground by Han Ju and couldn't move, how great was the difference in cultivation. I came to the right place. Tu Ling'er thought to herself, however, so far, Han Ju had never officially said that he wanted to take her in as his disciple. Could it be that he was still worried about her, was it because of her previous identity, Tu Ling'er was troubled? How should she please Han Ju, when she thought of his unparalleled appearance, she couldn't help but blush, TSK, how can we cultivators think about such trivial matters, should I give him a treasure?